Like... What's up, my artist? No, stop it. What's up, my artist? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I like how you type in WrestleMania Backlash and the first thing that comes up is WrestleMania Backlash Zombies. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, if we are on air, what's up, everybody? Demo the Warrior here. Welcome back to another live commentary. Actually, you know what? What up? It's Demo and Austin. Welcome back. Yes, back. To what? Oh Another God. live commentaria, Haria, <laughs> oh, Scaria. Jesus. Fuck you, Dash. <laughs> I thought your ass is in the fucking podcast. <laughs> we just recorded the podcast episode mm -hmm. four. So. Yep. Yes, we record these in advance. I don't give a shit what you guys think. So. Today's movie that we're doing a lot of commentary on is a movie I love. I've seen this movie so many times throughout my life. It's Night at the Museum, starring Ben Stiller. I love this movie, man. It's a good movie. Never seen it. The sequels are kind of crappy. I mean, they all have Ben Stiller and Robin Williams in them. Also, Robin Williams is in this. I forgot to mention that. Um, But they're not as good as the first one. Okay. Get down, dog. I am watching this on Disney Plus. So. Mhm. Mm and I'm watching this on DVD. I have my original DVD from when this movie came out. So. The this is the first movie that I think we've done. It might be the first movie that we've done that's been before 2009, actually. I'm trying to I don't think. even know the fucking. No, no, it's not because it's this is 2006. It's not because it, like there's multiple of you did those fucking in the night in the 1970s and shit. But um, it's the first movie that we done that's been that was made in 2006. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Yeah. So. Damn, this came out in 2006. Jesus. Yep. Live for three minutes. All right. Well, I'm ready to begin this whenever you are. All right. Well, since it's a movie that you really enjoy, you want to do the countdown? Yep. Well, let me press play. Hold on. Showing me the piracy screen. Hold on. <laughs> All right. I'm at the beginning of the 20th Century Fox logo. Same here. All right. I'm excited to watch this. I've been wanting to watch this movie again. And here we are. It's time to get going with some Night at the Museum. Um. Austin has never seen this movie before, but I've seen this multiple times, so I'm excited to get his first reactions and to hear his first thoughts once we're done with this movie. I will say, you will and... The fuck? I just start playing. Stop. <laughs> Alright. You will enjoy this movie. It's and a good movie. And what if I don't? So. Well, then this series is over, so... What the fuck? Alright. In three, two, one, Larry Daly. You understand why I said that name? <laughs> if you're getting echo from me, let me know. A little bit.
Alright. Are you on a screen that says 1492 pictures? Yes. Alright. 20th Century Fox presents. I'm eating some popcorn right now. I don't know if Austin's eating. I am not. I ate before we watched this. We're watching this. There's the museum where the whole movie takes place. Just to let you know, that's where the whole movie takes place. <laughs> well, except for a little bit at the beginning, but... I gotta be honest, oh, when it comes to... Dick Van Dyke is in this? I guess. I did not fucking know that. <laughs> Mickey Rooney is in this too? Oh yeah, that's right, he is in it. I gotta be what honest. Oh yeah, I also, haven't... the guy from the fucking TV show, what the fuck is it called, where he's like the hacker dude? Is on USA. Mr. Oh, Robot. What it was. Yeah, the guy who is the main character in Mr. Robot, he's in this movie as well. Oh, damn. I gotta be completely honest. When it comes to Ben Stiller, I don't think I've ever watched any of his movies. He is a great actor. He's been in some real stinker movies, but there are movies movie, that I was thinking good. about watching uh, with him in it. It's, I think it was like some uh, or something about Mary. I believe it was. I have to look. What did you say? You're cutting out. Am I good now? Keep talking. Hello, hello, hello. Yep. But um, there there was a movie that I was going to I was going to watch, but I decided not to uh, with him in it. Mm -hmm. and I think it's called "There's Something About Mary." Let me uh, let me look it up. Ben Stiller. I swear he's in the movie. Give me a second. Let me look it up. A good Ben Stiller movie to watch. That's a more, not more recent, but it's in more recent years. It's called The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. It's actually a pretty good movie. Because he acts really good in that. Okay. Night at the Museum had a video game? It, I did not know that. I would hope it's good. <laughs> All I saw was a picture of the Wii. <laughs> Called Nintendo. Oh my god, he was in Limp Bizkit's music video for Roland. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, he was in that, I forgot about that. Yeah, there's something about Mary. That was the movie that I was gonna watch. Yeah, that's the movie. Oh yeah, I forgot he's in this movie. Oh, that's Paul Red. Fuck. Yeah. I forgot he was in this movie. I've seen things that Paul Red's been in. You keep cutting out. Why do I keep cutting out? I don't know, you'll be talking fine for a second and then like, I can understand what you say but you like cut out at the end of what you're saying. Am I good now? Keep talking. Uh, This chick is not bad looking. Yeah, you're still cutting out. To me it sounded like this chick is bad looking. You want to pause then? I mean, um, it should be alright unless it gets really bad. Alright.
so I find it weird how he walks in and kisses this girl on the cheek, but it's his ex-wife and Paul Rudd's her boyfriend. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know why he did that. Don't know. Oh yeah, ben that's still this is supposed YouTube. to be. This is supposed to be Ben Stiller's son in the movie. He looks nothing like Ben Stiller. <laughs> what the fuck? What'd you say? He looks nothing like Ben Stiller. Let me see if it's cutting out on, on the stream. You're not cutting out right now. But you were really bad earlier. This movie has like, especially in the beginning, it has like a lot of gold toned scenes, like all the scenes in the sunlight. I don't really know why they did that. I don't know. But basically, the basis of this is. Ben Stiller and his wife are divorced, so he is trying to get his life together, and uh, he's also trying to be a good dad, so he gets a job at the, like, he tries to get a job to get his life together, so he ends up getting a job at the museum, and then that's where the movie takes place, basically. Okay. I have seen all three of these movies. Austin hasn't seen any of them. Um, I will say this movie is the best of the three. Made somebody comment? Hmm? Did somebody comment? No, I just wanted to say that. Oh, okay. Because I, I, I figured somebody would ask if we've ever seen the sequels or anything. Cause this, has, this movie has two sequels. Yeah. Which, we, I mean, depending on how Austin likes this movie, we might do the sequels down the road sometime, maybe. Well, but... well even if we don't like a movie, we probably... Actually, and I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it's a decent movie, I'll do the sequels. Uh, this, this one, so, I'll tell you about the sequels. I'm not going to spoil anything, but this movie is the best one. The second one is okay. It takes it takes place at, the, at a museum in Washington, D.C., like the big museum. And then the third one is, I, it's either, it's some other museum or it's the one from the first one. I don't remember really, but, uh... I've only seen the third one one time, but I know the, the first one's the best. The second one's okay, and the third one, I really don't remember how good it is. I remember when the third one definitely came out, though. I do remember that. What did you say? I said, I remember when the third one came out. Yeah, I, I mean, I remember, obviously, when this one came out. And then I remember when the sequel came out, and then the third one. I I'm, I know the second one's called Battle of the, at the Smithsonian or something, because that's the museum it takes place at. And then the third one, I don't remember what it's called.
So the reason I said uh, Larry Daly at the for, at the beginning of this is because that's Ben Stiller's character's name. Okay. So I'm just going to refer to him as Larry the rest of the time. All right. You want anything? Also, this hmm. is kind of weird. So okay. I'm sure you saw Teddy Roosevelt in who yeah. is obviously playing Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah. I don't know why, but that museum owner guy kind of reminds me of King Ross for some reason. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Why did my movie just rewind? There we go. How much is it rewind to? Where are you at? Is Ben Stiller at a security door on yours? Yeah, he just... The guy just opened it. Yep, I'm caught up. Oh, this must be Dick Van Dyke, I think. I didn't know at the time. Okay. In case there's any Dick Van Dyke marks out there. I've watched a couple movies with him in it. The guy on the couch is Mickey Rooney. Okay. You know, I wonder what goes through the head, like, of the parents when they name their kid Dick. I don't know. Like... <laughs> uh, I hope the fucking stream doesn't fuck up my... I think it might be, it might be raining soon. So fuck that Missouri weather. So I'm Vince Russo, bro. And I just want to say, bro, fuck that Missouri weather, bro. Oh, God. So basically, these three guys are night guards, and they're, Larry is going to be a new a new night guard. Okay. But they know something about the museum that he doesn't know. Basically, okay. I won't give away too much. keep an eye on the stream so it doesn't go out.
You'll see that monkey a lot later. Oh, I know that part. The monkeys are a fucking important part in all the movies, and I hate it. <laughs> That's one thing I hate about the Nightmare at the Museum. Night, not Nightmare at the Museum, Night at the Museum. <laughs> did, did that Freddy sounds like it'd be a spin-off. <laughs> did Freddy Krueger freaking get an exhibit in the museum? <laughs> Ooh. Well, that sounds like it'd be some, like, Nightmare Before Christmas type shit. No, but... I, uh... I mean, that'd be cool to have a horror-themed museum with, like, horror movies and call it, like, Nightmare at the Museum or something. I know at the Wax Museum there's, like, a whole portion for horror characters. I mean, I didn't go down it because when I went to the Wax Museum around here, I was a pussy. So, uh... Oh my god. So, apparently at the museum, the sequel got, got a uh, a game about it, and it's only five uh, bucks at GameStop. What console is it for? It's for Wii, Xbox 360, and Nintendo DS. The DS one is freaking three dollars. <laughs> I wonder what it looks like as our screenshots. Oh, but you can't. Apparently, you can't buy it. You know, it says pre owned. Okay, well, fuck. Huh? Let's see how much it is on today. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, can we pause? My mom wants me to do something. Yeah, just pause. Okay, I'll be right back. So Adam Man's going to save another life. Uh. Or Mr. Doubtfire has some floors to vacuum and bust it down to. Or Kelly Soros Rex has some people he needs to chase. Which one of the three do you think it is, chat? Let me know in the comments below. But, um... I mean, I don't know too many interesting facts about this movie. Um, I just remember when this came out. Uh, I My family had got it for me on DVD. So I watched it, and I loved this movie. It's a, it, it's, it's, it's cheesy comedy, but it's, it's an all-around a good movie. I, enjoy, I quite enjoy this movie. Um... I mean, some of it might might look a little dated, but like, holy shit, it's fucking crazy that this came out in two thousand six. Because I remember around that time, I remember Cars came out in two thousand six. I was obsessed with that movie. Um, this came out around that. It's like crazy to look back on stuff that came out when I was growing up because. Back then, when I was growing up, 
like I never understood why people were like, "Holy shit, this came out like 20 years ago," until now, where it's 2021, and I'm like, "Holy shit, this came out in 2006." I remember seeing trailers for this when it was coming out. Like I never had that before. Now that I have that, I'm like, now I finally understand why people think that and why people say that. So. All right, I'm back. All right, so I mean, uh, what's on your screen right now? Uh, a dinosaur thing, uh, uh fossil, I should say. Um, looks like a, a globe. All right, American you're on the flag. same screen as me. Okay. All right, in three, two, one, continue. So this has been still resacting. That was planned. <laughs> so you can get you can get Night Museum the video, the video game the Night Museum two the video game for Xbox three hundred and sixty on eBay for twelve dollars with two dollar eighty nine cents shipping. I mean, does the game even look good though, or does it look like a cheap cash in game? I don't know, let me look up footage. Did you see that? The T-Rex fossil is gone. But where did it go? It was stolen, but who took it? I was playing. That's good, or uh, that doesn't look good <laughs> to me. <laughs> I figured it wouldn't look good. Only from this this picture, it looks good. <laughs> it looks good at some parts, but it looks bad at other parts. So, it depends. You said it's based on the second movie? Yeah. Hmm. Oh shit, we're watching Jurassic World again. <laughs> <laughs> this is better than Fallen Kingdom. The... Decent effects. Yeah. Especially for the early 2000s. Yeah. Do you hear echo from me? What did you say? Do you have echo from me? No. Am I still cutting out a little bit? No. Okay.
god, so it acts like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Took that CZW bump. Oh, oh so the YouTube diss tracks got 12, 12 views in 43 minutes. Jesus. Oh, it went up? Yeah. Check that out, notification. I did not. I put my notification on for it. I think. Or on for you, I mean. Yeah, it's storming. I hope this doesn't mess up. If it messes up at the end, I'm sorry. Elevators wouldn't do that. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Do you have a thumbnail made for this one? I do not. I should probably get on that. <laughs> So if you couldn't tell, at night, everything in the museum comes alive. Yes.
fucking monkey. <laughs> Why would you name a monkey Dexter? <laughs> Sounds like he's gonna go on a killing spree. <laughs> Maybe he's related to Dexter Loomis. Nah. You think a monkey's bite would really be that hard? Probably not. He's also a character that is around for all three films. I forgot about him.
Jesus. There's Robin Williams. Yep. Man, I wish I wish he was still alive then. Me too. He has so many he's so many great movies. Yeah. He's such an amazing actor too. I wish he was still here. You don't hear my family in the background, do you? A tiny bit. I'm not gonna pause, but I'll be over there.
I didn't pause or anything. Mm -hmm. Yes, Paul, Daddy, Austin. <sighs> Unless I had to like make a really good like wax casting of factors. Yeah. Cause it looks almost seamless. Yeah. This has been decent so far. I do wonder what what uh, Paul Rudd's most recent movie is, though. What'd you say? I wonder what Paul Rudd's most recent movie is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the fuck he's been doing. Uh, What's Ben Stiller been doing, actually? I don't know what the fuck he's been in recently. No, if he's even just... still acting. Let me see. Is there anything recent with Ben Stiller? Well, I see the first... Oh, Locked Down is 2021. Yeah, is, and that, that's what Ben Stiller's in? Yeah, Hubie Halloween, he was also in. Mm. Most reason before those two... Uh, is Zoolander 2. And check Paul Rudd. Oh shit, I forgot Paul Rudd was Ant-Man. Hmm? I forgot Paul Rudd was Ant-Man. Oh yeah, that's right. Austin's arch nemesis. No.
Oh god, he was in soft. What did you say you cut out? Paul Rudd was in Sausage Party. Oh, um, I've seen that movie. I don't know if you've ever seen it. I've seen it. I didn't like it at all. It was fucking stupid. <laughs> like, oh, I'm sure we'll watch that one day. Oh, he's, this is the end. <laughs> mm -hmm. Next wave, we need to do a Seth Rogen movie. Oh, God. We do Zack and Miri make a porno. Oh god. <laughs> you freaking neighbors. <laughs> you think Larry would be like dead fucking tired after night or no night. Yeah. But no, he's just gonna walk around with these fucking kids in the museum. He took his five hour energy today. Four minutes. I feel like I've seen that actress before. I think I've seen her in something else, but I don't know what. I might have to look. So did he just fucking stay, like, he was up all night, he's just gonna stay up all day and fucking research all this shit. <laughs> and then stay up all night again. Jesus.
Well, that's where I've seen her. She was in Gerald's Game. The Stephen King adaptation. Netflix adaptation. She's also in San Andreas. And... A lot of DC movies. You would think the security cameras would hear all, would see all this and people would look and shit.
I wonder if he actually had to stand there and say that to the monkey. Halfway through the movie. Said Austin likes flowers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And said, so Did I just hear to you? <laughs>
Fucking monkeys is the worst part of the goddamn movies. That's the only thing I don't like about these movies. The fucking monkey humor sucks. Jesus. so stupid. One thing that kind of bugs me about movies like this is they never really uh, like stay away from like the status quo of like like realizing that they don't want to do stuff, do the main thing that they they've done, and then fall having been falling out with it. 
basically, and then coming back to it. Yeah. It's like every family movie, and I, I kind of don't like it. Sore on my nose.
Excuse me. God damn. How much time's left on the movie? Um, I think 38 is what that says. Be been streaming for about an hour and 18 minutes. So what do you think of the movie so far? It's decent.
second. the fuck just happened I don't know it randomly said on my screen it said Austin the artist can no longer perform voice chat due to network error and then it said no longer in party due to network error well I'm at 124.43 I mean I don't know why I would say that cause I, I'm still going live I don't know What's on your screen? Because I don't have a time on mine. Uh, the Mongolian guy. I hope that's I hope that's right. <laughs> He's looking at Ben Stiller. All right. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. All right. Three, two, one. Continue. sound that hit on your side what was it 
<laughs> the thun like there was a big jolt of thunder and it was loud.
This movie made me want to... Uh, remote control car like that. I remember that specifically. <laughs> I remember after seeing this movie the first time, I wanted a fucking Hummer, like, big remote control car. I've had a couple of wrestling. I've had a couple wrestling remote control cars. I had a couple remote control cars. I had this like big remote control Jeep. I don't know whatever happened to it. And then the coolest one I had was this big remote control uh, red Camaro. But I don't know what happened to that either. I had I had like a, a John Cena Batista. A monster truck that was remote control. Dude, I used to be so fucking big into Monster Jam. <laughs> My dude, like that's another fucking thing. I never even told you about me. You know they like, made wrestling about... ones recently. The Monster Jam. They made they made wrestling ones back then because I fucking had them. Okay. They they had it was like a four pack of like WWE Monster Jam toy trucks. It was like John Cena, Batista, Undertaker, and I think Randy Orton or Triple H, one of the two, something like that. I mean, I, I could tell you who I have uh, of the wrestling ones that I got, the newest ones. I have a Finn Balor, a Jeff Hardy, and AJ Styles, a New Day, and a Miz. Of the monster I thought about one. buying. I saw the Jeff Hardy one at Walmart. I thought about buying it. I was like, I was like, eh, I want it, but I don't at the same time. I'm wanting to get a, a Stone Cold, a Cena, and a and the Undertaker, but I can't find them. I know they have them. I'm trying to find the a picture of the ones I had. It was like a, I swear to God, it was like a four pack. Yeah, there's two of the ones I had. The John Cena and Batista two pack. Oh, they were Hot Wheels, but they're still Monster Jam trucks. Uh, yeah. Ooh, I didn't know it was a Toys R Us exclusive. Trying to find the other ones I have. Apparently there was a Matt Hardy one before. I didn't know that. Said so Dev is gonna get the buy-in. <laughs> I might have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I actually think I only had this two pack actually. Also, I think I downloaded the picture of it.
Okay, it didn't download the image. <laughs> Don't know why. I would have at least tried to clean it up. Yeah.
fun fact, this movie was the first time I ever heard this song. Hmm. I had never heard this song before this movie. Oh, dang. Ow. That was Night at the Museum. Alright. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna give your thoughts first. Um... Well... I mean, I've seen this movie countless times, so I already knew how it ended and everything. So, for me, it was just watching this movie again. Um, I mean, I enjoyed it as much as I always do. Um, it was one of those movies that you can just pop in and watch, just just to watch something. It's entertaining enough. Uh, on its own, disregarding the sequels, it's a de it's a decent movie. I like it. Um, I didn't think personally it needed a sequel, let alone two, but apparently the people who made it thought it needed two sequels, so, but as for just the first movie, it's my favorite one out of the three, um, I mean this movie always will have a nostalgic place in my heart because I just watched it so many times when I was little all the way up to now. This is actually the first time I've seen this movie in probably like six, seven years. Oh, damn. So, um, I mean, I just never had another reason to watch it because I watched it so many times, but now uh, here we are. This is one I wanted to put on here because I was thinking about like movies I really enjoyed as a kid or like movies that I, that I have a special place for me and this is one of them. Um, yeah. Like I said, I got this movie when it came out. Um, I remember seeing trailers for it as well, but I remember getting it and watching it, and I really loved it the first time. And then times after, I just I just have always liked this movie. The only thing I like, I think it's stupid, is the monkey humor, which I've said multiple times throughout this. Like, it's not that bad in this movie, but in the sequels, it gets pretty bad. The fucking monkey humor. Like, it's not funny at all. And, like, they use real monkeys for that, but, like, they were, like, trained monkeys. But still, even then, it's, like... Ugh. Like, it, it, to me, I, I, that's the worst part of the movie for me, is just the monkey humor. Yeah, but I thought I thought that Ben Stiller was pretty good in this. Uh, I thought obviously Robin Williams was great as Teddy Roosevelt. He's a, he's great in everything he does. Um, all around, I think everybody played their roles well. I don't think there was really any bad casting or bad acting overall. I think it, this was a nice, well done little kind of. I really don't know what kind of movie this would be classified as, but I like it. Um, so if I had to rate this movie, I would give this movie a 4 out of 5. Only because of the monkey humor that I don't like. Um, but otherwise, I really did enjoy this movie. Uh, but I'm interested to hear your thoughts since this is the first time you've ever seen this movie. So 
Well, I'll let you go ahead. This movie obviously goes in the negatives. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I would <laughs> um, say. Fuck me. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to give it a 3.7 out of 5. Yeah, mm. It's decent. Uh, my only problem with it is it has a lot of cliches in family movies. Yeah. So that, yeah. that takes it down a good bit for me. But, I mean, it, it's good for what it is. It has good actors and actresses, and it's it's a fun movie you could put on. If if I if I would buy it, I don't. I mean, I would. It wouldn't be my first choice to buy it, but I would still get it on DVD if I had the chance. Yeah, I have it on DVD because I got it on DVD when it came out, and yeah. then the two sequels I have on DVD because my aunt bought them for me. Um, cause I I knew. They made a second one, but I didn't know about the third one. I don't even know if the third one came out in theaters or not. I know the first two did. But yeah. uh, they they both. Oh, I mean, all three of them did because I remember seeing trailers for the third one. I don't know what the fucking third one is called. I think it's a, it has something tomb in the title or something. I think secret of the tomb or something. Okay. Well, let me see. Night at the. Yeah, so you have Night at the Mu Night at the Museum, which is two thousand six. Night at the Museum, Battle of the Smithsonian, which was two thousand nine, and then Night at the Museum, Secret of the Tomb, twenty fourteen. So okay. they all have Ben Stiller as the main guy. So there's no like weird shitty sequels. They all are the continuity is actually surprisingly done well. Like, it's not one of those series that, like, oh, the first one's good, then the second one is kind of like the first one, and then the third one's something completely different. It's not that kind of series. All around, like, all the characters stay the same. They're played by the same actors, so... Um, but... Uh, watching this again... I'll admit my enjoyment of it did kind of go down a little bit, but that's only due to the fact that I've seen this movie so many times, so there's not much new enjoyment I can get out of it. Um, but I haven't watched... The, I've watched the second one twice, and I've watched the third one only one time, so if we ever do those movies, my opinions on them might change. I don't know. Okay. But... Uh, as far as the first one goes, this movie will always have a special place for me. Uh, with that being said, would you like me to, since I have the DVD version, would you like me to read all the special features? Sure, and then we could end oh, it. And languages. Okay, so we'll do, we'll do languages first, because they're first on here. Also on the DVD, it's kind of cool, because like, the background of it is like the museum. And, like, each time you click something, it takes you to a different part of the museum, which is pretty cool. It's kind of like, it looks like a early 2000s, like, point-and-click PC game, though, kind of. Oh, okay. Uh, so there's English. Wait, there's English, Dolby Surround Sound, English, DTS, French, Spanish. There's a, there's a director's commentary. And there's a writer's commentary. And there's also English and French subtitles. Okay. Uh, we're going to learn more special features. I actually never looked at the special features. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the special features suck. Uh, um, <laughs> so the only thing in the special features is to turn the writer's commentary and the director's commentary on or off. Oh. That's not really special features, but, I mean, it still doesn't take away from the movie for me. Um, but, yeah, so that was our live commentary of Night at the Museum, yes. 2006. Our first movie from 2006 that we've done. Yes. I feel like eventually we're going to like do a movie from like every single year at uh... some point. <laughs> I don't think that's possible. Probably at least of the 2000s. 
I was about to say, I'd I don't say, think that's possible. Uh, the movies were really first I'm, made so in like, I, the 20s. So. I, I would say from... Eventually, we'll probably do a movie from every single year of the 80s all the way up till now, probably. Okay. Not every single movie, but like a movie from every year, I probably... Especially when we do Friday the 13th, that's going to be most of the fucking 80s right there. Yeah. Because literally they had one every single year or so. But, uh, so next up on the live commentary list, we have Jason Goes to Hell, which came out in the 90s, I think. So, will this be our first 90s movie? Uh, Oh, wait, wasn't American Pie, wasn't American Pie in 99? Yeah, it was in 99. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, shit. (laughs) Alright. Uh, Look, so we've already done a set. We've done a '70s movie, two '70s movies. We've done an '80s movie. We've done a '90s movie. Now a '2000s movie. We've done a t- we've done '2010s movies. We've done '2000s so, movies before. In game. <laughs> oh yeah. And Freddy vs. Yeah, Jason. True. Yeah. Oh. Well, uh, next will be Jason Goes to Hell, and then we got Independence Day as well. Um, then we still have uh, other movies left. Actually, how many are left now that we've done this one? Oh, uh, shit. Um, give me a second. Oh, God, update the list. <sighs> mm. Yeah, we were actually supposed to do Jason Goes to Hell. But we decided not to. I I asked if we could do this just because I didn't want to be mad tonight. So I was already mad during the podcast. Uh, uh, eight eight movies. Eight movies left. How many have we done so far of the second wave? Of the second wave, I would have to see. Go to the playlist real quick. Cause then we have like twenty movies or something, or something or fifteen. This is the twenty-first like uh, so far. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. We've done seven, and this would be eight out of the second wave. So we have, eight. so we're halfway through. Yeah. God damn. All right. Well, stay tuned for next live commentary, which will be Jason Goes to Hell. And then I don't know if we're doing Independence Day the same day or not. We've discussed it, but it all depends. <laughs> so yeah, now it depends. Uh, so. uh, yeah. With that being said, thank you all for watching. Uh, I would I would recommend Night at the Museum if if you're looking for like a family movie to watch or like same something here. to put on for your kid or something, or you know if you're if you're curious enough, I, I'd say it's worth a watch. It's worth checking out. Uh, the first one especially, maybe not the sequels, but I'd give I'd give the first one a look if you're interested. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So thank you all so much for watching this live commentary. We'll see you all next time. Peace. For Jason goes to hell. Peace. I'm gonna kill. <laughs> Jeez.